We all know that Magic the Gathering is a multiverse filled to the brim with the strange, the unusual, the peculiar, and the why on earth are we getting another colossal Dreadmore reprint? With so many oddities about, we thought it might be fun to have a look at the many, many creature types in Magic the Gathering and see which one stands at the top of the upside down pyramid of weirdness. It's a fun little exercise, and as with all our lists, there were lots of other options around for us to consider too. There are so many damn creature types in Magic the Gathering. We've avoided the lot of one-off things like orbs, triskelovites, pentavites, and a few others that only appear on tokens purely because they're weird, but they mostly make sense. Instead, our little bundle of weirdness is filled with, well, you'll see. So here's our list for the 15 weirdest creature types in Magic the Gathering. A Tog. A Togs are a type of creature that eats stuff to get all big and powerful. The first A Tog ate artifacts, but as time went on, different variations started to eat different things, including, but not limited to, enchantments, forests, other Atogs, and even time itself. They all looked like the most horrifying wide mouth interpretation of a reptilian humanoid, and we're not sure how we feel about them. Beeble. Beeble is a tiny little naked bean-like humanoids that have it pretty rough to be honest. Outside a few silver boarded cards, one of which is a planeswalker, Beeble seemed to have a bad lot in life. In the bouncing Beeble's card, the flavor text, has them being chucked against stone surfaces at high speeds, but giggling anyway. But the worst one is Bumbling Beebles, where Baron seems to want to eat them, which just seems mean. Coward. There is currently only one actual coward creature in Magic the Gathering, and it was in Kaldheim. The creature itself is a giant coward, and frankly, we think the Craven Hulk just needs a cuddle after being abandoned at birth. Other than that, coward is a mostly temporary effect that gets bestowed by presumably shouty people who can turn creatures into cowards to stop them blocking. Egg. An egg is not a creature type, it's a state of existence. That's like saying that adult, baby, or angry emotional teenager is a creature type. No. Eldrazi. It's impossible to discuss the weird and wonderful creatures of Magic the Gathering without discussing its take on the Eldritch. The Eldrazi are reality warping beings who make their home in the blind entities and have no actual physical form. Instead, what we see is simply them inflicting themselves on our reality. That's why the Emrakul you see on a card is completely different from the one somebody else sees. Seriously, test that out. Homunculus. A homunculus is an artificially made miniature human. For some reason in MTG, a lot of them only have one big old eye, and they're usually used for boring tasks like reading and getting lost. They're all mostly blue as well, which raises some questions about what color Wizards of the Coast thinks human beings are in general. Still, they're less horrifying than the ones in other forms of media, so that's something. Illusion. If something is an illusion, it's not real. If it's not real, then it's not a creature. We get that it's used more as a mechanical concept, but we find the whole idea to be a little oxymoronic, to say the least. Lamassu. A Lamassu is a creature akin to the Chimera, and they have the body of a cow, a bird's wings, and a human face with horns. There are only two in MTG at the moment, but the creature type itself is actually based on Mesopotamian legends that share the same name and appearance. We love a bit of weird mythology, and the peculiar creatures handed down in legends fit wonderfully into Magic the Gathering. Lurgoyf. Lurgoyfs are one of Magic the Gathering's most famous creature types, thanks to the good old Tarmogoyf. And they're all fairly monstrous looking reptilian beings that are covered in spikes and teeth and grow stronger thanks to death. They also come in every color, which is a fun time to be had if you fancy doing silly stuff in EDH with graveyards. Metafran. 
There are a few creature types that appeared long after the cards that represented them, and the Metafran are one of those. These creatures are basically just blue people, but they're on here because they represent a big old group of creature types that took a while to get reorganized and existed as things like ships and soldiers before the grand creature update. Feldergriff. Picture this, a hippo with wings. That's what a Feldergriff is. They're probably best known for being excellent commanders for group hug style decks. And the name of the creature type is actually an anagram of Garfield PhD, which is a nod to Richard Garfield, the creator of Magic the Gathering. Sand. There are a small number of MTG cards that create sand creature tokens. These tokens have the creature type of sand. Look, come on. Viashino. Viashino are little lizard people who are descended from dragons. They're usually red, but they're always a little bit terrifying, and some of the early depictions of them are really rather haunting. It's also a lot of fun to say out loud, and we recommend doing so at least once a day to improve your mood. Wombat. Wombats aren't weird, but there's just something very strange about seeing them in Magic the Gathering, even if there's only two. One of those is also a wombat bat chameleon, so we're not sure if it counts. Zubera. The Zubera is a spirit with no face. They're believed to be humans who've been dragged into the spirit world, and they're all very much the stuff that nightmares are made of. We thoroughly recommend avoiding these at all costs if you ever see one in real life. And those are our 15 weirdest creature types in Magic the Gathering. Let us know what you think of our list in the comments and follow us for more Magic the Gathering content.